Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And this is an update concerning the Windows update from yesterday. So 24 hours after Windows update for Patch Tuesday. Uh, looking at uh, what people seem to have as problems or anything. Once again, it seems to be rolling out very well this month. Uh, not, um, you know, the, the minimum amount of people complaining of problems which is typical of a Windows, um, you know, install in, in any operating system anyways. Um, no real problems in general. Um, you know, a lot of people that have problems installing Windows updates are often people that have too much crapware on their PCs, too much software that's, you know, useless and often think that you have to install a gazillion things to make sure the PC runs well. In reality, you don't need anything else and what's already with the basic Windows operating system in general. So, you know, the background noise will always be there because of the nature of how Windows works, meaning that people install all sorts of things. And there's still a, you know, small percentage of people that live in the old days of Windows 95 when, yes, there were some things that we needed to install sometimes to make sure that the operating system worked well. It ain't the case anymore today. People uh, that are stuck still installing, um, you know, one of the first software I see all the time that is totally useless, um, you know, is uh, the uh, famous C cleaner. Uh, I see that all the time. You don't need to clean anything in Windows at all, at all. It's a myth and it's something that shouldn't be done. So, you know, all of these software, they add up and they change things. They modify the, the, the registry and cause problems. That is probably a big chunk of the minority having problems. Add to that a lot of PC makers adding crapware when you buy your PC. That also can interfere. You know, that's the background noise for most people of, you know, updates that don't want to install and so on. The majority of people seem to have a, a good install on this one. Time for the install of the update varies greatly. In my case, around 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. In some cases, up to an hour, an hour and a half could be possible on older machines. One of the main drivers of the speed of updates also has to do with uh, your hard drive. If you have an old mechanical hard drive, it is way longer to install these updates than anybody that has a solid state drive. And that is really, really a big difference. Uh, solid state drives tend to be really fast. And even older machines that have been upgraded with, you know, the uh, SATA um, drives that are SSDs still have a great boost in performance also. Uh, so a lot of it has to do with older hardware. But uh, in general, the updates seems to be rolling well. And of course, they fix a lot of stuff. They fix um, a lot of security uh, flaws. So it's important, including two zero days. Very, very important to install the latest updates on Windows 8.1, Windows 10 version 2004, which is the May 2020 update, 20H2, which is the October 2020 update, 21H1, which is the May 2021 update, and uh, that is important to, of course, install uh, as KB5005565 or 5566, depending on uh, the machine you have. Um, some of you have been asking me what version should I see in Windows 10. So to be up to date on Windows 10 now, you need in Windows version to actually see uh, that you are at 19.04.1, 19.04.2, or 19.04.3, but the ending is 12.37. So you have to have 12.37 as an ending. If you have, if you're not at 12.37, you're not up to date on your system. You have to be at 12.37 for the ending. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.